Okay, so we now want to start the sewing proper. Now, remember we, we said we're making a button down shirt. It requires a back yoke, but in the course of this video, I will not be using a back yoke. Our major focus, our major target is how to achieve that notch collar. And both left and right, relax, that is our major target. So now, let's begin with this. This is our back panel. I want to do the join. Let's start with the joining. This is our back panel. This is our back panel. The wrong side facing you. Take note, the wrong side facing you. Then you pick up the front panel, half of it. This is the front panel, half of it. Now, what to do quickly? Good side to the good side. So you go to your sewing machine, you sew the shoulder, and you flip this over. Then you pick up the second part. Take note. Good side, good side, facing each other. Then you sew this shoulder. But remember, while we are while we are cutting, we folded the back on top of the front with half inch. So it is a half inch that we will be sewing. So we we'll sew this and also flip this over. Take note, good side to the good side. So let's do that and making sure and making sure that the armholes are also aligned. So let's do that now. Okay. So I'm sewing the half inch at the shoulder point. All right. Okay, so this is the second part. So you pick up your front panel, shoulder to shoulder shown, and sew half inch. Okay. So we are through with that. Okay. So like I said, we'll flip this over to the good side. Remember, if you want to use your yoke, use. Alright, so I've done the joining of both sides. I've done the joining. Now this is our next second friend. So our major focus will be this point. Okay, so what I'll quickly do, pay attention now. I'll pick this. Now remember, this was the point of the notch for the four inch mark this is the point of the notch remember i said we removed four inch so i quickly put the notch there so i'll flip this backward sorry i'm taking this to the good side remember this is the good side so i'm folding this backward from the point okay so we are taking this folding it to the good side all right bringing the two this is to remember the two this is the two front panel that is the point of the notch there so now you fold this you fold this as shown you fold this as shown take me folding this as shown so we now put another notch again now remember this is from the point of the notch let me take it again let me just do it at one part so you see it clearly. Now, from this point of the notch, I'm taking this backward. This is one part alone, so you see it clearly. So I'm taking this as shown from the point of the notch. Then I'm folding again from this point of the notch here, this point here. You fold again at least one and a half inch, and you put a notch. So you have this length, say one and a half inch, and you put a notch. So you do the same thing for the other parts. Take note. So from this first notch that we did, this is the first four inch notch. So we fold it again, at least one and a half inch. Then you put a notch there. So you do this for this other second part. So a recap with this from this point at the first notch for the four inch. So this is the recap of the second one. Now from the point of the notch, the first one. Remember, this is the first notch of the four inch mark while cutting. So from here. I'm folding one and half inch again, one and half inch. Then you put your notch there. All right, so we have a second notch. Now, it is from this second notch that we'll take our next second fence. Take me from the second notch. From the second notch, that is what we will take our neck second fence. Okay, so it is from this point of the second notch, remember, it's from this second notch that you now take your neck circumference from this second notch that we did. This is the main body attached to the back panel, the front panel attack, attached to the back panel. So it is from this second notch, this second one we did, that you now take your neck circumference. 
So I'll measure from here. So let's quickly take our next circumference from this point here. So you place your tip here to know our next circumference we have there. So trying to measure what we have there. So you can see there we have 15. Okay, this is 7, 7 3 quarter. I'll be cutting 7 3 quarter. Let me take it again from the second notch. Take note. You're doing this from this second notch that we did. So from here, measure down, 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 down. Okay, sorry, 7 1 quarter. We have 7 1 quarter. Alright, so the color will be fixing. The notch color will be fixing will be 7 1 quarter. Take note. That is, um, 15, sorry, 14 and half. 14 and half. So I'll quickly cut the cloth gums. I'll be using this thick cloth gum stays, so right? Thick. Now, the length, the length is seven and a half inch. That is what I'll be working with. Sorry, 14 yeah. and a half inch. 14 and a half inch. Okay, so this is 14 half inches. So I'll be cutting from here. Now, the width I'm working with, depending on how wide you want your your notch color to be depend on how wide you can use three you can use three and a half you can use two depend on how you want to but in this case i'm using three inch so i'm cutting three inches by 14 and a half inches so this is the this will serve as our notch i'll be using this to fix our notch color this is a strong cloth gum so i'll quickly get the piece of fabric i want to use then when i gum this as shown gum this just will really gum your normal color so iron this down iron this down okay when you're through gumming it on the piece of fabric you fold this edge just the same way you do your normal you fold this edge and you iron this down as well okay when you're through with this point you take it backward as shown take it backward then you iron this down as well Okay, when you're through, you've sewed this part, this folded part, you sew it quickly as shown. You're sewing this. Okay, then you turn this to the back as shown. Then we sew, we sew this point straight. Up there and you sew the other part as well so when you're through you turn this you turn this just when you do your normal color then we iron this neatly okay so at this stage we now want to fix our notch color this is the point of emphasis in the video here so to fix our notch color this is the turning i've done at least you leave at least a quarter inch as shown now this is a good part you leave at least a quarter inch as shown which is this that is what you use to sew now this is a button down shirt now we have two notches there this one is the first notch we did while cutting which is four inch so from here to here was four inch so you fold it exactly at that point fold it exactly at the first notch then you sew I'm sewing just a quarter inch so then while sewing, you get to the second notch. This is the second notch there. I don't know if you can see it clearly. At the point of the second notch, you're now fixing your notch collar. That is the name, notch collar. Fixing from the point of the second notch, fixing that point there. Then you continue your sewing. The while sewing, you make sure you capture this. Make sure you capture this point. Take you capture. Okay, so we sew this down, making sure the three are equal. Sew this down, sew this down. So we'll stop there where this one stop, we'll stop there for now. So when you stop at that point, you move over to this other part as well from the back. Remember, your first notch, you fold it as shown from the first notch. Then you sew again at least a quarter inch. You sew again. Sew down. Then when you get to the first, look at the notch point. Then when you get to that notch point, you bring in your notch collar. You 
fixing your notch collar at that point fixing from that point where the notch is the second notch is then you continue your sewing make sure sewing the three together remember there are three pieces one two three sew the three together then you sew and meet up to the first point that you've sewed already okay when you get to this point where the first this you push remember at this point we folded in and we sewed so you push this out take when you push this out when you get to the point where this first one stopped the first um, notch will be you push that out to have a neat finishing so you push that out and you continue to sew down to the other part okay so when you're through sewing you quickly put this quickly do this so we now turn this to the good side so we turn this so we now turn this as you can see our notch color is almost set turn this to the good side turn this all right now we now top stitch from this point of this notch here from this point here we now top stitch exactly at that point we are sewing it round so watch carefully a top stitching now when you get to this point here take a look when you get to this point where this stopped where this stopped you put a notch there you quickly put a notch as you can see put a notch from that point where this stop this is the excess of the four inch that will fold at the excess then you take this other part look i've done the notch then you take this other part inside and you continue your sewing as shown you take this other part inside just where you fix your normal collar inside continue your sewing so you sew this collar round you do this round same thing when you get to this point you put a notch there then you fix it in then you press this other side to this way when you get to this point you sew remember I'll sew the collar around this is how to fix your notch collar all right so we're through with this now the final step you do is if you have your weaving machine now this is the excess, the four inch excess that we did. You weave this round. Then you also weave this round. Then when you're through with that, remember there was an overlapping, so you adjust this. Remember one side goes for your button hole, and one side goes for your button. So you adjust this. I remember we also have, we said there is an overlapping of half inch. One part, the left overlaps the right at least half so you do that so by the time you do that then take a look at this so i'll quickly adjust this so so you have your okay so as you can see we've arrived at this so this is how to fix our notch collar so you see that these parts they're all relaxed along with your collar so the next thing you'll be doing when you're through with this remember we said there's an overlapping here so you will make sure you also adjust the overlap in half inch then you get your pin and you pin this down then when you're through with the pinning you make sure you adjust both sides your sleeve everything then you now fix your sleeve every other way you just do it in the form of your normal button down shirt so this is how to sew your button down shirt with a notch collar once again you're watching pj collection clothing online class